My name is Anel Snijman. I'm 35 years old. I'm the owner of Luby's Predator Park and I'm outside of Bella Bella. I started the park in 2009 with my first servals and now, nine years later, we are now established Predator Park. To manage the park, it's, it's really, it's, it's hard work. Um, I have a dedicated staff. Neil is my assistant or the head guy. The park gets visited by a lot of public um, and school groups. We try to educate people personally about all the cats. A lot of the feedback that I get from guests is, do I trust my lions? I know they can turn on me anytime. Um, you don't know what's going on in his head. You don't know if he's not feeling well. I'm not scared, um, but I'm just cautious. You can't be scared going in with animals. You need to have respect, otherwise they feel it. And then you think you are higher than they are, or bigger than they are, and they want to show you who's boss. There's always someone outside the enclosure when I'm inside the enclosure. Feeding time, there's both always two, outside and inside, so we also always have a backup with the gates um, and if I'm working with the animals. Everyone can bite, everyone can attack. Everyone is, is dangerous on its own level. And I was very, very close to the animals. They have a very special bond and relationship with each other. I have 17 South African predators and scavenger species on the farm, and there's 35 animals in the park. My relationship with the animals, they all differ. Everyone has their own way of talking to you. Everyone has a different personality. The banded mongooses, they're very sociable, so they love to give you all the attention. Fieri, the honey badger, you need to be loud because he's always busy. My house is actually in the middle of the park. We call it the zoo house. Currently, animals living in my house is Peri, the honey badger, and the cubs, the lion cubs that's staying in my house. When the animals is in my house, they can get up to mischief. And um, Peri loves to go into the cl closets, take out all the clothes. So we'll climb on top of the sofa, watch some TV. I do have a few scars and stories to tell, but that was not of aggression. So for 220 kilograms to jump on top of me, you get your nose broke. That's normal, So, but no aggression. They don't know they're, they're bigger than you are. They think you're part of the pride, you're part of the family, and they give you cuddles and they jump you, and that's normal for them. So for me to raise a baby from small and I can raise them up as big animals and they still love you, I do it because the passion they have and or my passion for them and the love they give me.